you guys just saw that, but I almost broke that ball. <laughs> you guys but i've not had cereal in months hey guys what is up today is the day that we are going to be making fake cereal mirror bowl this is actually something that i've wanted to do for the longest time but the problem is that i am a person that likes to procrastinate and push things off until i don't realize how long it's actually been i've actually wanted to do this project for like about six months now i haven't got to it because, because i keep pushing it off but i keep telling myself like oh tomorrow i'll do it or the next and day the next day turns into the next day. it turns into a whole month and, ugh, really wish i did not procrastinate but you know that's i have accepted and that's just who i am even though i don't mean to do it i just do it anyways with that said i actually got this idea off of tiktok where i saw this girl basically like make these little fake cereal bowls and use them as home decor in her apartment <laughs> like turning your kitchen into what you eat sounds amazing it just kind of makes sense. The funny part is I don't even eat cereal. Like, I'm not really a cereal fan. I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> Whenever it gets all soggy and everything, it just kind of gives me the ick and it's just like, ugh, I don't know. I just don't really like it too much, but I do bake my under eyes. I like to do it at a 360 angle. But I'm get it. Anyways, I wrote a list on everything that we're going to need in order to create this project. And honestly, I don't think it's going to be that hard. It's also not going to be that expensive either. Oh, excuse me. The first thing that we need are bowls. I'm going to head over to Target because they have like that 50 cent like, Tupperware aisle. They also have like the bowls in like different colors. I haven't really decided which color I'm going to go with yet, but if they have pink, we're going with pink. I actually think that they're called soup bowls. They're like the little short, like stubby ones. And then we also need some spackle because that's going to act as our milk. Basically, we're going to pipe the spackle into the bowl and then lay the cereal on top. Now, hear me out. I don't know if any of this is actually going to work, but I'm still going to try and do it anyway. I asked you guys over on Instagram as to what cereals we should make. And the top three commented cereals were Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Lucky Charm, and Fruit Loops. I couldn't choose just one, so we're gonna go ahead and do all three of them. Doing a little bit of makeup because after this, I'm gonna be going straight to the store to get all the supplies. Anyways, this is the finished look. <coughs> It got in my mouth. I don't think this is gonna take too long, so let's head over to the store, get all the supplies, so we can get working on this DIY project. <sighs> So I was hoping to find the like the neon pink bowl, but I found this one instead, so we're gonna go with this. There's something about the smell of Lowe's that I just cannot get enough of. Okay, so I just got back from the store and I think I got everything that we need. At least I hope I did. Because I'm uh, not going back. So I ended up getting the cereal variety pack. It comes with four different cereals. And although it only has two of the three cereals that you guys voted on. I thought it would be a lot smarter to go with this. So instead of buying just like a bunch of cereal that I'm just not going to eat. As for the rest of the supplies, I was able to gather everything and keep it underneath our budget of $20. And like I mentioned, instead of buying individuals, it was just cheaper to buy this variety pack of cereal. Some lightweight spackle as well as these little 50 cent bowls I got from Target. Okay, so to begin our DIY cereal bowl mirrors, I needed to start by like clearing up some of that dead space that's in that bowl because there is a lot of it and spackle is expensive okay so i just come to realize i don't have enough spackle to fill these bowls all the way up with it so what i did was i got these little foam circles i got them off of amazon for another diy project i had some left over so what i'm gonna do i'm adding a little bit of hot glue just around the edges kind of like this like put it right inside the bowl and it fits perfectly <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Basically, I'm just going to fill up just some of the dead space in there. So one, it keeps it light. And two, because we don't have enough spackle. I got these little foam circles off of Amazon. So if you want them, I'll try and link them below for you guys. So then I went ahead and just repeated this step on all the bowls. I went ahead and got the hot glue, put it on the styrofoam, and then pushed it down into the bowl. And then this is kind of like how it turned out. Okay, so the styrofoam's all glued in there. We have a lot of like dead space on the edge that I wish we could fill up, but... That's okay. I'll cry about that later. <laughs> and now it is time to finally grab our forbidden frosting. <laughs> oh my god, I can't open it. Oh, it stinks. This is so fluffy. I just want to, you know, <laughs> I won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. I just, oh, it feels amazing. Hold on. Are you supposed to get this on your skin? Do not get on skin. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, so this probably won't make sense now, but basically we're going to be using this white spackle in order to like mimic realistic looking milk. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's kind of like a cloud, but it kind of stings. Okay, I just realized that this stuff dries quickly, so we need to hurry up. This part is actually like super easy and satisfying. You just grab like big scoops. Make sure not to touch it because it said not to touch it and I made that mistake once. Uh, but anyways, then you're going to start by icing your bowl just kind of like this. Okay, this stuff actually low-key does kind of look like milk in a way. Like, uh, I don't know how it's going to dry, but... Like, it's so far so good. I'm trying to like smooth it out the best I can, but like, oh, it's kind of hard, especially since I'm using like a paint scraper. Um, like, I, I, I don't think it's meant for this. <laughs> 
in there. Okay, so I put the plaster all in the bowl and you cannot tell me that does not look like milk, but before this starts to dry, we need to go ahead and get the cereal, mix it with the resin and then set it in here. Okay, so next up, we need to get a little bit of resin and basically what we're gonna be doing is like freezing the cereal in time in a way, if that makes sense. If you've never used resin, basically it's like this clear coating that like kind of freezes things in time and makes it very shiny. Now, if you've never used resin before, it's actually really easy. Just mix equal parts of part A and part B together. Basically what it does is creates like a clear glossy like sealant on top of our cereal. Now, I only have one mirror, which kind of sucked, but I had to choose like the favorite cereal, kind of like choosing the favorite child, and I decided to go with Lucky Charms. <laughs> now, I don't really know if that was the right choice or not, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Then I went ahead and got the cereal and I put it all around the mirror, just kind of like this. Now, I don't know about you, but anytime I eat Lucky Charms, I like immediately go back to my childhood. <laughs> like, am I the only one that would literally only eat the marshmallows in the cereal? I, I still do that to this day, but that's not the point. A red robin just flew by, you know what that means? Good luck. Now, I come to realize that one bag of cereal just was not enough, so I actually ended up using both so of them. So this is me just adding a little bit more cereal around the edges. Okay, so so far the first one is done. It's still drying, but for the most part, it's all done. I put the mirror on the middle. I put mostly the marshmallows around the side because as a kid, that was like my favorite part of the cereal. I only had one mirror and I put it on the middle of this one. Oh, there's hair in it. I was gonna put a spoon on here, but I kind of like it just like this as it is. Okay, so for the cinnamon toast crunch bowl, I want more of the milk to be showing. Using the Lucky Charms one, you can't see any of the milk. It's all cereal. So I want to switch it up a little bit and let the milk shine this time. Bro, what is up with the hair and everything? Even though I have a bunch of leftover, I'm just going to stop right here because I think this looks really good and realistic. I think the best part about this entire craft is that you don't even have to try. Like, I just kind of threw it all on here and it, and it came out pretty good. It actually looks so realistic. If you had to choose one cereal to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mine used to be Lucky Charms, but now it's now it has switched to these the Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't know why, but every couple months I'll just crave that cereal. Look how cute they are. They're little heart shapes. Okay, we're going into our last bowl. Okay, I really like the look of this one, how you can kind of see the milk. So we're gonna do this again with the Cheerios. So basically at this point, we're just kind of repeating all those steps that we've been doing. First, put the spackle all in your bowl, then put resin all over the cereal, yada, yada, yada. I think you guys get the point now. It's actually way easier than I was expecting it to be. I'm trying to like press the cereal down into our milk. So it looks like the cereal's all throughout the bowl instead of just sitting on top. This was actually genius because <laughs> it ended up working so freaking well. Um, It looks like the cereal was kind of like sunken in. Okay, I love the way these turn out. Anyways, I want you guys to be 100% real with me. Either give me a thumbs up or thumbs down in the comments. Um, what you guys think of these i think they turned out so freaking cute but let me know what you guys think also tell me in the comments what your favorite cereal is and that is how i made these adorable little fake cereal bowls if you guys end up liking this video at all either give it a thumbs up or thumbs down it just lets me know whether or not you guys like these videos or not if we should keep doing it or move on to something else i think i'm gonna go hang these up in my kitchen now anyways if you guys end up recreating any of my crafts i've ever made don't forget to send them over to me so i can repost them on my socials and tag you guys this craft was like so fun to make i definitely recommend all you guys to try this out i'm gonna do oh my god there's another freaking hair bro anyways this craft was so much fun to make um it's definitely doable for anybody especially if you're like looking for like a minimal like effort type of project i feel like this would be such like a weird like kind of gift to give to like a friend or family member okay, i think for now on every birthday my friends are getting cereal bowls <gasps> imagine if we could like make it smell like the cereal oh we're going places me i might be hanging them up in my room because they kind of like low-key match my vibe if not i might turn them into magnets and then put it on my fridge because that would be kind of cool they're also like super lightweight so i I don't really know yet. I haven't really decided, but I will let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> you spent what? Okay, so the first bowl is all done. He just curled up in my lap. Tell me you have a chihuahua without telling me you have a chihuahua. <laughs> it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die.